your tutorial spine buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can create a fake city skyline using gradients and 3D. Now first thing to do, just go over to the, the gradient tool and I'm just, you can use basic gradients here, of course you can add your own complexity to it. Actually this one is perfectly reasonable and but I like to actually add in some say additional black there and just there just to change the colour there. Click OK and maybe some white. Move the stops a bit closer because I want some sort of like sharp lines, that's the key thing. So right, once I've actually done that, click OK. Then just go for difference and for angle option there. So now just apply it over the when you see you've got these lines now, this is the key thing. Now of the other gradient is fairly nice, but it's very smooth. And city skyline's not really particularly smooth, so so you can get this, obviously you've got these weird things, but it does create some interesting sort of designs later on. Now, once you've actually done that, I continue obviously adding more and more. I'm just gonna continue there just so it breaks it up a bit more. Okay, at this point, what I can do is a filter and crystallize. And now what you can see, you've got lots and lots and lots of these sort of cells that are being created. And I'm just gonna go for that one. Yep, that's fine. Now, the key thing here is also, obviously a city doesn't particularly look this sort of color. So what you want to do is adjustment black and white. Now you can modify it, make it, maybe that part of the city is sort of lower than this side of the city. So you can vary the size as well, just by tweaking that, or go that way, make it brighter, and so on and so on. Click OK. Now once you've done that, of course now what you need is some actual streets. Obviously cities are not made up of just obviously continuous buildings. So just go to the Align tool, and I'm using it in pixels mode. I'm going for a weight here of 23 for the initial couple of lines. Now obviously, straight lines, I mean depend, and you can have lines go into different parts of different things, that goes off there, more higgly piggly, and 50. Add that across, maybe an avenue, cutting through, and, okay, so once you've actually done that, you've got your sort of, so what you can do then is 3D, new mesh, and depth map, plane. Now this isn't, takes a few seconds processing, sometimes quicker, sometimes uh, depending on the actual, yeah, it's going to do it, you can see it whirring around, thinking about it, and then you have a quick city skyline, and you can then rotate that around, and zoom in, just crack that there, and of course you can rotate that around, but right, so once you've got that, of course you could add another city sky bit of there behind there if you want, duplicate that and then maybe think. But you can of course add a nice gradient to that. But I'm just going to quickly go to this one, the most obvious one, and just quickly create layer, new layer. Click OK, and not helpful putting it in Angular. So I'm just going to go for there. Okay. So once that's done, then obviously just move it down because it's obviously not going to be much use there. And then a layer and flatten. Flatten OK. And then of course you maybe want to add, say, blur, a quick tilt shift and just modify the city just to, so you've got that sharp there. Click OK. And there you have it. Quick, nice sort of city sort of design with skyscrapers and a few sort of avenues through there in the side. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.